So. Are you going to hurt me? No, I'll try not to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call that someone one? else. <laughs> quite a bit who's a Hickson black belt so he teaches you know super simple stuff but he calls it hidden jujitsu so there's some weight shifts and things that sometimes you can't see but you can feel it and so it changed the way that I thought about a shrimp actually I mean I've been doing it for a long time and it really changed my perception of it and when I use it exactly so I'll kind of show you maybe that'll help um, if the person's chest to chest they're leaning forward um, let's go mid mount Again, or like a, a low mount, yeah. So low mount, so we're, it's that same kind of problem that we were dealing with. And if they're chest to chest, we can tend to work, we can work to trap and roll, we can work to knee elbow escape. If they're sitting up tall, uh, taller even, yeah, his weight's on his legs now. And it's really hard to get under that leg because he can shift back and forth and weight that, and I, and you, I would get exhausted here. And they would eventually climb to high mount. Uh, so the shrimpy shows, we put a, a hand on the belly button, not a fist, but a hand. <laughs> you do have to have your legs inside their legs. I'm gonna bring my shrimp and I'm gonna translate it through my frame and I wanna put his weight on this leg so that I can shrimp out the other direction. And I just hadn't thought about the weight transfer before and I can do this to really big people now. If you follow them, sometimes you can even get on top. It's almost like a technical get up. So I bridge and I shift him over just a little bit and then I can shrimp out and follow it. So I have to get that little weight transfer. Again, it's more when they're sitting up and it, I super simple. This is something I wasn't doing. I was trying to just, you know, I'd had both hands on there and I'd be bridging and shrimping and he's just shifting with me instead of here, straight frame. It has to be straight. So my bridge comes through just a little bit here. And now that leg behind me is light, <coughs> both hips out. So a lot of my mount escapes are thinking about which leg can I make light. Um, so if the leg behind me is light, I can trim. This leg on this side, if I can make that light, then I can yell. Okay. Super simple, yeah. On the hand, does it matter right hand, right way, left hand, left way, or is it ambidextrous? I think it does. It matters the way you turn. It's going to be your top frame. Okay. Top frame. And without him, I'm bridging. Again, I'm trans transferring that bridge into him and then just bring in both legs out so bridge off both feet you have to get your feet in between their legs <coughs> feet are crossed we have to fight that leg battle but give it a try i've seen strong guys do this or if you have a really great bridge they'll do it and the way henry does it he'll come all the way out and get back on top that would be nice it never works that way for me but maybe for you guys <laughs> give it a try ready what do you do?